Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use writable tables to make a simple store in your game uh, where users can buy items to play um, in the gameplay. Um, so let's go in and create a table. Um, I already have a table here, we'll call this store. I'm going to open it up and let's choose um, what they're going to buy. So let's say this is bombs. And um, we're going to make this a um, an integer, I guess. And um, let's choose how much bombs cost. Uh, let's say they cost uh, $300. All right. And then we're going to choose another column for how many. Um, and this will also be an integer and let's say the user has no bombs right now so we'll leave it at zero we're gonna go home go into the scene and um, let's display our um, our bombs here so we'll go in here and I have a display text we'll call this bombs and we'll just make this black for now. Hit preview, and there it is, bombs. So, let me just make this another color so we can see it. And let's go with um, adding in uh, how many bombs they have into this also. So let's go in here and actually change this to bombs uh, dot dot and then we're going to use, um, I'm going to put a space in here, alt space. Um, and then we're going to say display cell value. And we'll use table. Then we'll go to our table, our store table. And for row, we know bombs are in row one. And we know the um, cost is in row one. So we're going to go like that. And hit preview and let's see. So there we go. Bombs, three hundred dollars. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this a little bigger. Preview. So bombs, three hundred. Now we're gonna make another actor for how many? Um, I'm just gonna drag this over here. And I'll color that, uh, you know, red or something. And we're going to tell it to display text. And we'll tell it to display um, table cell value, game, store. Um, row one, we know is our bombs. And our quantity is in row two, so I'll put a two there. And I'll just change that to uh, black text. Hit preview. So bombs are $300 and we have none of them. Um, let's go in here and just put a money sign in front of our in front of our thing here. So let's go um, after our space, we'll put the money sign there. Hit preview. There we go. So bombs are $300 and we have zero. And let's make a buy button. Let me go in here and we'll create a buy button. And I'm going to make that blue. And I'll put another display text. And um, let's display, actually just display the word buy now. And we'll turn that to black text and preview. Okay, so let's just make that a little bigger. Preview. Okay, so we have our bombs are $300 and we have none right now and we're going to buy, okay? So now we need some kind of money system. So let's go make an attribute and we're going to make it an index attribute and we'll call this money. So let's give the player some money right now, uh, $1,345, or sorry, $13,045. Um, so... The reason why I'm using an attribute 
uh, instead of a table uh, sell value for the money is because I want to compare to it later and you can't compare a um, table sell value to a table sell value so it's best to keep the money in an attribute um, so we have that there now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to create our uh, wallet down here that's gonna show how much money we have and we'll make that another color maybe a yellow and then we're going to display text and we're going to display um, our game how much money now I want to put a money sign in front of that so I'm going to go to the beginning of that and I'm going to go quotation money sign quotation dot dot and then game dot money go ahead and make that black and hit preview and now you'll see there's our money that's how much we have that's how much bombs are we have none and a buy now button so now let's start buying bombs and in fact just so I can show you something later I'm gonna take our money down to uh, uh, six hundred and seventy five dollars Let's preview that there we go okay so we're gonna go into our buy button which is right here and we're gonna create a rule and we're gonna say when touch is pressed we're going to change attribute game money and we're going to change it to game money minus and then we're going to use table cell value and I'm just going to hit the arrow over so it shows it because it doesn't have enough space and we're going to choose our table which is our store row for the bombs is one and the um, value is in one I believe right and I hit OK just let me double check our thing here yeah, the values in row in column one. So I'm gonna hit back. So what that's doing is it's taking the money away. So I'm gonna hit preview, and now you'll see when I hit this, it changes our money to 375, then to 75, and then zero. And it can't go past zero. I'm gonna go in here, and um, what we also want to change is how many bombs we have. So let's gonna change um, table value because it's in the table and we'll choose our table for our store and we know that bombs is in row one so I'll put a one there and for column it's column two because that's where our quantity is and we're going to change it to um, table cell value and we're going to select our table in there our row is one and column is two because that's how many bombs we have so we're going to change it to that plus and then I'm going to copy all that, Command C, and then paste it in there. So we're going to change it to whatever it is, plus, um, actually, sorry, not that. Let me delete that. So it's just actually plus one. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking there. So we got our table cell value, store, uh, row one, column two, which is how many bombs we have, plus one. So I'm going to hit preview, and we have zero bombs, and we hit buy now. And now you'll see it took 300 bucks and it added one there. I'm going to buy it again. It took $300 and now we have two bombs. Um, so now what we need to do, I'm going to hit this again. And as you see, we have three now, but we have no money. And we didn't have enough money to buy the third one. So what we're going to do is we have a rule that here that says when touch is pressed, we're going to say and attribute game money is greater than and then we're going to say table cell value and we're going to choose our table game store and row would be one because that's where the bombs is and for column we're going to use one so we want to make sure that we have more money than what it costs to buy that item so I'm going to hit preview now and you'll see I buy one no problem three hundred dollars got one buy another no, no problem but when I go to buy another now I can't um, it no longer allows me to buy that item because I don't have enough money. And you can go one step further here, um, and we can just say um, in our display text here, we can create a rule that says if attribute um, game money is greater than, and we'll do our, our table cell value again choose table to our store our row to one and our column 
one. So if there is enough money, it's going to display this text. So here you'll preview. And now the text is gone because I have no money. And we can also turn the button off too. We can say um, change attribute self color alpha to one because that's on. And then we can say otherwise. And I'll drag and copy that down with alt drag zero. So now when I hit preview and I buy, I got one, buy, I got two, but now I can't afford any more so the buy button is gone. Um, simple as that and that's a quick easy store using writable tables. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Head on over to gshelper.com and you will be able to download this project file right underneath the video. And uh, remember to thumbs up this video on YouTube and subscribe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.